Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm looking a little bit different today. Maybe a little bit crazy. Last night, I had such a great idea to film a video testing out viral TikTok makeup hacks. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, like this is such a good video idea. And then I searched it up on YouTube and then many people have already done it. So... Not original, but I, I did come up with it myself. So I'm proud of that. I didn't watch any of those videos or anything like that. I just literally went onto TikTok, searched up makeup hacks, and picked some of the like top ones, ones that I've seen, and just stuff that I thought would be interesting to try out. And we did that all here in this video. So this look is kind of all over the place because we tried out a lot of different things. So it's interesting for sure. But I think it's really fun to try out all of these different hacks and just to see if they really work. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. I have been doing like a new makeup look every day of quarantine and it's been really fun. And if you guys want some like makeup inspiration or stuff like that, Check out my Instagram, it's down below for you. Yeah, I don't really have much to say for this intro. I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you wanna see me test out some TikTok makeup hacks and just keep watching. Okay, so we are starting off with two different mascara hacks. Now the reason I'm doing this first is because I also have a false lashes hack that I wanna try out, but I can't be wearing mascara with it. So I'm gonna do the mascara hacks now, try it out, see how it looks. And I am going to be taking it off. The first one, I'll put it on the screen here. It's by XOXMBD. This one isn't some like crazy hack, but it's something that I've never really tried. And it's just basically using waterproof mascara. If you are having lashes that like are not staying curled, waterproof mascara is supposed to, to help keep the curl. I've used waterproof mascara maybe a couple times like in the past and I just don't really like it. But we're going to try it out today because her lashes look really beautiful. So the only one I have is the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. So with this, you're literally just starting off by curling your lashes like you normally would. And then all she does is basically this wiggling motion the whole time. That's just one coat. I don't have long lashes to begin with. But I am noticing a, quite a difference from that compared to when I usually just do mascara. Like there is definitely a lot more of that curl. So we're gonna go in with a second coat. So that is coat number two. Honestly, that does make quite a difference for my lashes. Like it definitely doesn't have the length that I would typically like, but that's just because of the mascara itself. It's more of a volumizing one, but I can definitely notice that curl difference. The curl alone makes such a big difference for my lashes and I feel like if I were to pair this with like something that is more dedicated towards length or even just a lengthening waterproof or you know just kind of mixing the mascara combo I think I would be totally in love with this hack because yeah that alone makes such a big difference even though that there's not quite as much length as I would like there. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to test the longevity of it today because I'm taking it off um, to see if it really does hold the curl throughout the day or if it ends up kind of drooping. I'll let you guys know in the description box if it ended up holding the curl all day, I'll try it out on a separate day. And yeah, I'll let you guys know so you know if the hack actually works and keeps your lashes curled. So this next mascara hack is by Miranda Lynn. Um, I'll put the video on the screen for you guys. So basically this hack is using a blow dryer to dry your lashes. It says it's no falsies, no eyelash curler, just a blow dryer. So for this one, because I kind of want to be able to compare the two and see which hack is the best, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex regular mascara for this. And then that way we can see a little bit better the difference between the two. So I'm going to coat my lashes like I normally would, but I'm not curling them. We're using the blow dryer apparently to do that. So I'm going to do the same thing and just like wiggle the lashes up. So that is three coats of mascara. We're gonna pull out the hair dryer. Now you're gonna do it on cold setting. And she literally just basically puts it up to her eye like this with her eye closed. And I guess it's supposed to curl your lashes. We will see. Oh, I don't like this. I 
my boyfriend just stopped by with his dogs. They walked over. I went out to meet them. And it's very hot out. So now I'm a little bit red because it's hot. And I also changed my shirt because I was dying in that long sleeve. So anyways, I don't really remember what I was saying. I definitely prefer this side over this one. Um, just a lot more volume on this side. And I noticed the curl a lot more. And already since like the little bit that I was out there. I do notice the curl has gone down a little bit on this eye. So, so I'm just going to take that mascara off now. So this next hack is a brow hack. And I'm doing this before my foundation and stuff because it's messy. This is an interesting idea. And this video is by So Prim. It has like... 4 million views. Now I've seen two different versions. I couldn't find the other one that I had seen but in the other one basically the girl first used foundation and basically put it over her brows and this is just to help like kind of adhere the product because essentially we're just going over the brows with eyeshadow in a very messy way. So I'm just going to take a little bit of foundation and just basically put that over top of my brows like that and then you're basically gonna take an eyeshadow and use it as like a brow powder I'm just going in with the Anastasia sultry palette honestly I was struggling to find a shade for me because even though I have platinum hair I don't want my brows to be super light but I also don't want them to be super dark I think I'm gonna mix these two shades here and you're just gonna pretty much go in with like she looks like she's just using a fluffy brush and literally just pack on the shadow like this this feels very wrong to me and yeah you're just supposed to get it messy i think i'm going to use a bit of a more dense brush so i can kind of pack a little bit more and just basically making sure your brow is completely coated i look absolutely crazy you're supposed to use a makeup wipe and basically clean them up and that's it I don't know, I don't feel like I have enough of a nail to get like a clean looking line. I feel like there's something that I'm missing here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to maybe spoolie these out a little bit. So this is literally all she did and yeah. This is a no for me because I just, no. This has potential at this point. I could definitely fix it up and make it look better. But for just her specific hack of like how she did it exactly, it's a no for me. I think it looks quite crazy and just like not at all subtle and soft and like the lines just aren't, no. Yeah, it's a no for me, but I'm going to go ahead and just try to fix it up with my own stuff and make it look a little bit better at least. So I think I've managed to kind of save the brows. I am not for that hack at all because hacks are usually supposed to make things easier, make things quicker. That did the complete opposite in my opinion. I had to spend so much time on like cleaning them up and stuff to make them look, you know, decent. It took way longer than if I was just to normally do my brows. So the next hack I'm gonna be trying out is an eyeliner hack, but I'm first gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my eyes just to kind of give an even base. I'm really not doing much for this look. I'm gonna go into the Kylie Jenner. This is her Valentine's Day palette from last year. Doesn't like have an actual name on it, but I'm gonna go in with the shade February, which is just a really nice pale kind of pink. And I'm just going to lightly fluff this through the crease. I am wanting this to be like fairly light. I'm not looking for too much color. I just didn't really want to leave the eyes super bare. And I'm going to take a little bit of pink problems and just put that kind of on the outer half. Then I'm going to take this Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz Diamond Lights Finisher. It's basically kind of like a pigment, but it's super pretty. And I'm just going to press it on. That is the eye look. It's pretty soft, simple. So the next hack we're doing is an eyeliner hack. This is by Young Couture. Basically, it is using tape. I definitely have seen this hack before, but all you're gonna do is take your tape, line it up to the bottom of your eye here, and then you're gonna take another piece. This is really hard to show, but you're gonna basically put that on your lid attaching it to the other piece of tape 
basically you're going to use that as your guideline and fill that in with liner. I'm using the Suva Beauty Hydra FX in Scrunchy. This liner is very intense. That's why I wanted to keep the eye look quite simple. And I'm using that with the Suva Beauty 610 brush. And then yeah, I'm just going to basically fill in that guideline. I'm just going to use the guideline for more of like the tip. Pull that off and reveal your liner so that's what it's looking like one it took off some of my eyeshadow whatever i can fix that i did bring the tape a little bit too high up here and also not far enough down here so it's a little bit too like thick looking for me not terrible i think with some practice and just kind of learning the right like angle this can be a pretty good tip because i mean it did give me a very sharp line and it was a lot quicker so I think it just really comes down to the practice of kind of getting that right angle for your eye shape I'm gonna go ahead and just basically finish these up and then I'll come back and show you how it looks all right so there is the liner done not perfect but I've learned the hard way that sometimes you just kind of have to leave it otherwise you make it worse than better so this side's slightly thicker but it's okay I definitely see this hack having potential and one of the few that we've tried so far that I think definitely can work really I think that it just comes down to practicing like the right kind of angles with it because this side for me came out a lot thicker whereas I like this side a lot better so just kind of practicing the angles of the tape would help but I think I did this a lot quicker than I normally would do liner for something that's this kind of like thick and bold I think that hack was pretty good success so this next hack is the one that I've seen going around the most and the one that kind of inspired me to do this video it is by, her username is Rita Matt. I'll have it here on the screen. I wanted to try this hack, but I've always been scared to because it seems so wrong. So basically you first do your moisturizer. You lightly set it with loose powder. You spray your face with setting spray, let it dry, and then you put your primer on and then your foundation. The powder is kind of what throws me off the most is putting powder and then putting liquid on top of it because if you know anything about makeup, you would normally do liquids first, powders last. So I'm a little bit scared about this, but I'm excited to try it. It's supposed to make your skin kind of look flawless and like really long wearing and last all day. So... We're gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. This is the Sunday Riley CEO. So we're just gonna rub that into the skin. And then she lightly dabs it with setting powder. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in Pound Cake. I don't know if she uses a sponge or if she uses a brush. I'm just gonna use a brush and we're gonna lightly set that, which is so weird to me. She did say not to use too much so I lightly set my face with powder I didn't put too much it definitely doesn't feel like super powdery so and then next you're supposed to set it so I'm using the morphe luminous setting spray and then we're gonna let that dry so I'm using my fan that is set I am looking dewy from that setting spray I'm gonna go in with primer I'm using the cover effects water cloud primer I have yet to try this so I thought I might as well today and I'm just gonna rub that into the skin I guess and then after that you would just basically put on your foundation like usual but I'm gonna try out another hack as well this hack is by Kate bake 7 you're basically going to use a concealer that is too light for your skin tone a cream contour that's too dark for your skin tone blend that all on and then put your foundation over top of that so I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter. This is in the shade Fair 02, which is like almost white. She in the video puts quite a bit on. Basically just, you know, all the usual places that you put your concealer and then blend that in. I'm also actually going to do a little bit just under the hollows here to add that highlighted look so that the contour kind of pops a little bit more. All right, we are looking absolutely crazy. So now we're supposed to take a contour shade or bronzer shade that is much darker than your skin tone. I don't have any that is super dark. I'm just going in with my Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream, but it's in the shade Fair. 
I think I'm just gonna basically use a lot of it to kind of build up that color but it's definitely not like a super dark shade basically contouring where you would normally contour and then once again blending that all in we are definitely looking crazy and then now we're just supposed to put our foundation on so i'm going in with the nars uh natural radiant foundation this is in oslo is that how you say it i don't know and we're gonna start blending that in okay guys so that is it blended in i don't know how i feel about it i don't know i don't feel like i noticed that big of a difference i feel like one i look way too pale and the bronzer definitely isn't showing through enough. This is a more medium to full coverage foundation, but I think also because I didn't use a bronzer shade that was a lot darker, like she said, that's probably why it's not showing up as much. But I would just still honestly prefer doing the contour and concealer after my foundation because I already feel like I need to go in with more in both aspects, like even my under eyes. I don't know. The hack doesn't really impress me that much. It just doesn't really make that big of a difference in my opinion. And also I'm way too pale now because of that light concealer. And then also for the hack that we did previously, kind of hard to say what I feel of that because I don't really notice once again that much of a difference. I mean, maybe my skin looks a little bit more dewy. There's one area right on my cheek here that's looking a little bit patchy and like cakey, but the rest of my skin looks pretty good but also I feel like the first hack probably has a lot more to do with the longevity of it so that's definitely something I will test out so we're just gonna finish up the face going back in with my Huda Beauty powder to set the face now most of my skin is looking okay but there definitely is quite a few more cakey areas than usual like down here right here my nose here so i don't know if that's like because i use too much powder or what exactly that is but yeah that's what we're looking like we're gonna bronze up the skin a little bit so i'm going in for my jouet bronzer this is light to medium and i'm just gonna basically mix the two shades and then for blush i'm gonna go in with the natasha denona blush in number 15 i just mix the two shades together the next hack I have is from, I might be pronouncing this wrong, Mayana Lauren. Um, I'll have her video up here. And it is for just a really easy nose contour. I struggle with nose contour, so we're going to try out her hack. I'm just going to go in with the Jouer bronzer just to, you know, because I want it to be softer. And basically the first thing she does is contours the sides of her nose like so and brings it up and then just blend that out that's a little harsh looking this is why i don't nose contour because i feel like it always looks so harsh so then she basically contours right here and then also does like a little circle around the tip of the nose and blend that in and then it bakes the side with loose powder and then she highlights so i'm just going in with the anastasia nicole guerrero palette i'm gonna use my little jaclyn hill highlighting brush to do this so basically she just highlights right on the tip and then on the top part of the bridge so basically avoiding that little area that we did the circle I'm just gonna wipe this bake away oh is she looking snatched oh i think she does it's a little bit too dark for my liking like it's a little too noticeable but i think the technique really works because i can definitely see a slimmer looking nose it's just a little bit too dark for me i don't know does it look crazy on camera probably but it's fine it kind of works okay i'm not mad at that one so yeah i would say that hack is pretty good it's a pretty easy nose contour i definitely noticed a difference also i haven't used this highlight in so long and wow she's looking good now i'm quickly going to finish the lower lash line i'm just going to go in with those same two shades that i used earlier I'm just going to put on some lipstick. This is the New Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. This is in Wakiki Rose. It's a really pretty color in the formula of this. So good. 
this product makes your lips look like just plump and juicy but still kind of gives that like matte effect mm, love it i almost forgot one of the hacks you guys okay i have a hack for faux freckles which I think freckles are so beautiful. I've tried faux freckles one time and it was okay, but it just kind of looked like I had a bunch of little dots on my face, like like eyeliner. It's another hack by uh, Miana Lauren. This is a really easy faux freckle one. Essentially, all you need is like an eyeshadow, a bronzer, just like a neutral brown shade and you literally just tap it on your face. Once again, go in with the Jouer bronzer that I use and I'm gonna go with the darker shade here. I'm gonna take just a angled brush. You wanna really Really, like pack it in there basically have a lot of like excess product on your brush because it's gonna tap off so I have quite a bit of product on there you just lean back and basically tap it over your face did it do much not really let's try that again oh nope nope oh why is it all the way down here what the heck are you doing over there okay this is not working out oh oh no hopefully you guys can kind of see that's what we got going on and then after that she basically just taps it in with a brush okay and now they are all gone okay yeah that one didn't work out too well okay I don't have the video for this hack because I was planning on just using that one but I remember what it was and basically she took a setting spray just put some in the cup so that there's some liquid in there and then it scraped off some of the product that you're wanting to use so I'm gonna use this one again and just like kind of take that excess product and tap it in there basically creating kind of like a paste and then you're gonna take your brush put it in there mix it together I hope that's enough like actual powder this scares me it's very wet and then you're gonna basically just like flick it onto your face trying to get closer up here so you guys can see so hopefully you guys can see that's how they turned out not bad i mean it kind of looks like i just sprayed dirt all over my face but i guess if you don't get too close it doesn't look too bad i do feel like it helped kind of give an even distribution though and it's kind of all over depends on the person but freckles aren't always right in this sometimes they can be all over so it did get a little bit like on my chin and here and stuff so that's definitely a technique because of the setting spray it doesn't blend out all that well so you kind of have to be careful with that i feel like that one definitely works better i don't know if it looks quite that natural my last hack i'm very excited to try this out and it is basically colored false lashes now i don't know if this originally started on tiktok or if this started on instagram but i've been seeing it a ton and so i wanted to try it out so i pulled out some old lashes i don't really wear anymore these are coco lashes in demi g so basically what you do you coat them in foundation and then you take a eyeshadow and just cover them with the eyeshadow and it the foundation makes the eyeshadow stick and then they have like that colored look so the shadow i'm going to use is from the anastasia the norvina pro pigment one i'm actually going to take i'm trying not to show you guys everything in my room right now i'm going to take the bright shade there and use that to coat the lashes so i don't really have like a video to go off of for this so i don't really know how to go about this i think i'm just going to take some and put it on here so I can like dip from there and then I'm just gonna take a brush and just basically I'm gonna coat them with foundation maybe concealer would work better I don't know we're gonna try some concealer too and I'm also gonna like just pick them up and make sure to get the other side as well I have this lash coated on both sides so I'm just gonna go in with the eyeshadow and just pack it on i think i don't know if i'm supposed to let this dry first for a little bit but i feel like this is not coming off as pigmented as the ones that i've seen so yeah that's kind of what we got going on i've just been basically packing on the pink and it's looking pretty good i feel like it's not quite as like intense as other ones i've seen 
but maybe we'll let that sit for a second i'm gonna try the other eye so i think i got them about as pink as i'm gonna be able to i think this is actually gonna be pretty cool so i'm just gonna pop them on the eyes now okay i'm also not gonna put on mascara because i don't really want to make my eyes black so i think i'm just gonna kind of try to rub a little bit of the eyeshadow i don't know how to do this to coat my lashes i'm gonna use some of the marc jacobs eye primer i have no idea if this is gonna work or not and then i'm basically going to coat it with the eyeshadow to kind of add that like pink tint you know okay that kind of works so i kind of have that mostly on and honestly like it's a look and i think it's pretty fun and cool and definitely like it works the thing for me that's kind of throwing off the look my natural lashes just are not mixing with these fake ones and i can really notice the lashes but other than that i do think it's a cool look something different kind of fun just gonna finish off the look with some lower lash mascara so definitely be a lot more fun if i had like actual pink mascara but i don't so there is the final look my hands are probably going to be permanently stained pink at this point. Honestly, this was such a fun video to film. Some of the hacks worked out really well. Some of them not so much. Some of them I have to test out a little bit more. Overall, the outcome is pretty nice. I mean, I would go out with this makeup if it wasn't for these lashes. But yeah, I really enjoyed kind of testing those out. I've seen those videos all over TikTok and, you know, it's just fun to see if they work for you or not. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next one